Hey guys, you're watching Cooking with Dimples and I know why you clicked on this video because you miss me. And yes, I miss you guys too. So with all the cold weather that's been going on, I figured this week's video will be of my homemade jambalaya. So with that being said, we are going to get right into the video. Okay, you guys, so first we are going to add about a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil into our pot, and we are going to start browning our sausage first. Next, we are going to add our chicken thighs. You can use chicken breast if you like. We are going to get it all seasoned up, and we are going to start browning that as well on medium low heat. Okay, so after our chicken and sausage are just about done, we are going to add our holy trinity, which are bell peppers, onions, and celery. We're going to get that all incorporated, and we are going to let this simmer on low for about 10 minutes. Now that our veggies are nice and soft, we are going to add our fresh garlic in and saute for about one minute before we add our shrimp. Now we are going to add our pound of shrimp that I've already cleaned, shells off, and we added the Creole seasoning and chicken seasoning with the pepper at the beginning. So now we are going to add our bay leaves, our thyme, our basil, and our chili powder. And we're going to let the shrimp cook for just about five minutes. Shrimp doesn't take too long at all. Oh my goodness, you guys. I really wish you could smell the aroma in my kitchen right now. It's going to smell so good in yours as well. So now we are going to add two cans of our Italian style diced tomatoes. And we are going to let this simmer for about 15 minutes with the top on just so we can get all the flavors incorporated with the bay leaves and everything and it is going to make its own juice with the tomatoes and the shrimp it's going to make its own juice <laughs> Okay, so I used about one bunch of green onions. I'm going to throw them in there at the end, and I'm just going to let them simmer for about one minute. Okay, guys, so I am going to cut my heat on high, and I'm going to add a cup and a half of chicken broth for extra juice. 
And once it's brought up to a boil, I'm going to cut my heat off. The cooking part is done. I know different people cook their jambalaya different. At this point, you could put dry rice in your juice and you can cover it and let it come to a boil and simmer for about 25 minutes. But I have my already prepared rice. I had three cups of dry rice that I cooked in my rice cooker earlier that I am going to add at this time. The fire's off and I'm just going to get everything stirred and incorporated and it is done. I'm going to add one bunch of parsley to garnish on the top. Okay guys, so that concludes my video of my jambalaya. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys actually take the time to make this in your own homes. So I will be back with you guys in about a week for a new video and if you haven't already subscribed, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and please tell your friends about my channel. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for the support. Have a good day.